Welcome back guys. So today's video is going to be a DIY. Using the right ironing tools when you're ironing bus curves or corset really does make a huge difference. So I'm going to show you how to make two of the ironing tools I use when ironing bus curves and corsets. Now let's get into this tutorial. For materials, I'll be using this flower craft foam ball in the block. Now you can also use a styrofoam in place of this because it's actually like styrofoam but it's just a little harder. Please read the description because I'm going to include the size of the craft ball in the block as well. Next we'll need some fusible fleece interfacing or wooden. Some polyfill stuffing. A hot glue gun. And two breast pads. So first I'm going to separate the ball into two halves, one half for the corset ironing tool and then the other one for the bust curve tool. So here I'm just going to take my knife and cut through. Next I'm going to place half of the ball on the block. Next I trim the corners of the block just to give it a little rounded shape. To hold the ball in place, I'm just going to add some hot glue to the block and then just place the ball right over it to make sure it's secured. Next, I'm going to add the polyfill stuffers around the block just to make sure it's well laminated. So you want to go in with as much layers as possible so that it's, you know, well covered. Now also using your glue on the base just to secure that as well. And next, I'm just going to use this um, cups that I made to just test to see the level on the boss to make sure that the curve is, you know, is just enough so it's not too deep or it's not too shallow. Now you can keep adding stuff in just to make sure you get that right curve right around the under bust area. So here I'm just adding more, making sure it's suitable enough. Next, I'm going to cover the ball part of the foam with a breast cup and just secure it with a glue. Then I go in with more layers of stuffing just to get the right curve. Next, I'm going to add more stuffers over the whole block and around the ball part as well. Now just keep adding stuffers in the right places just to, you know, blend it out and to get the perfect bust curve. So here I'm just going to lay my fusible interfacing over it to just see how the curves actually looks before I do the final ironing of the stuff. Once you're satisfied with the shape, you can just go ahead and start ironing that. So here I'm just ironing the stuffers to the block just to also um, seal it in and make it more secured. So here's how it's looking after ironing. Now you can see the curves already in place. 
So this is what it looks like so far. So here I'm just, you know, sliding my hand around the bust curve, checking to see if it's, you know, curved enough. Next, I'm going to add one layer of the fleece interfacing over it. And next you're going to iron this but while you're ironing you're going to make sure you just pull like stretch it out so it just holds everything together so here if you see how i'm ironing i'm pulling the interfacing over it as much as i can So here's how it's looking like after a good press. So you see the curve is in place right now. The next thing to do is just to go over it with another layer of fabric. You'll need a fabric that is very heat resistant. You could either use a neat fabric or 100% cotton fabric. In this case, I'm using a linen fabric because I didn't have either of those. So I'm going to cut it on a bias grain so it gives me um, a little bit of stretch. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this over the block and I'm going to make sure I stretch it as much as possible so that it blends seamlessly. Now here I'm just stretching the fabric over it and also securing it with a pin, making sure there are no creases whatsoever. So here you want to just stretch and pin, stretch and pin. But if you're using a fabric that already stretches, it makes it a lot easier. Next, I'm just going to secure the excess fabric under the block using the hot glue. So here is it all secured. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut a base. I'll be using a cardboard to get the base. Or if you do have wood available, then you can use that. So here I'm just cutting the outline of the board. Next I'm going to attach it to the bottom of the block using my hot glue. So here I'm just making sure it's properly sealed and just adding more glue where needed. So here is basically done. This is what it looks like after. So here I'm just testing it out one final time with this cup to just see how seamless that um, curve, you know, flows. Now this is the one I usually use for the bus curves. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make the one I use for the corset cups. Now for this, I already have a sole for this, so I wouldn't be using a cardboard, but every other material is the same. So this is the other half of the ball that we cut in the beginning. So the first thing I'll do is to attach the cup to the ball using the hot glue. And just making sure it's properly secure, just adding more glue. Next, I'm going to go in with my polyfill stuffers. So I'm just going to add more layers just to laminate it further. If you've made it to this part of the video, guys, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It does go a long way. That's just a way of encouraging me to keep making contents like this. Also, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you. Now once you're satisfied with the size, you can just go ahead and iron that. So here I've given it a good press just to like mold it further. Next, I'm going to go over it with my fusible interfacing, the fleece one.
then I'm just going to, you know, stretch and iron, kind of like we did to the previous one. Just stretch and iron and make sure it's like properly secured. So here I'm just trimming out the excess um, interfacing so that it can like lay flat on the sole. And then I'm going to glue the excess under to secure it. And next I'm going to place the final layer of fabric, which is the, the linen. Also making sure it's on a bias grain for that little bit of stretch. So I'm just going to stretch and pin in place like I did the previous one. You want to pull and stretch just to make sure there are no creases on the top. You can have creases at the bottom, but the top needs to be like smooth. And next, I'm just going to glue the excess fabric under to secure it. Now, once that is all done, I'm just going to go ahead and add more glue to the sole or the base. Now this base already has a nail, um, so I'm just going to stick it right on top, like so. But if you don't have a base like this, you can definitely use the cardboard like I did in the previous one. That works as well. So here I'm just securing it further, you know, just pushing out every excess fabric. So here is the final look, guys. We are all done. So this is what they look side by side. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please, 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 if you like this video and you want to see more like this, please just give this video a thumbs up. You can share, comment, and then please also subscribe to my YouTube channel guys. That's how you encourage me. Thank you so much for watching.